Types of Thermometer Here is a look at six different types of thermometers and how to decide if they are right for your family. To learn let's watching the video. Number 1. Forehead Strips Ah, the allure of not having to wake your baby up to know their temperature. Sounds nice, right? And it might even offer you some peace of mind. But is that peace of mind false? Probably. There aren't many studies on the use of strip thermometers, but most recognize the accuracy of detecting fever at around 35 to 50 percent. What does that mean? If you don't want to touch your child and wake them up to see if they have a fever, just flip a coin, heads equals fever, tails equals no fever. Number 2. Wearable Thermometers Trying to one-up the forehead strips is the wearable thermometer. In theory, it will notify you via an app if your child's temperature reaches a fever. Like the forehead strips, the accuracy of these is suspect. On top of that, if you've read anything I've written about fever before, like this post about fever myths, you might know that I don't think it's important to know your child's temperature every second of the night. Number 3. Ear Thermometers, Tympanic Now we're getting into the more common and reliable ways of checking your child's temperature. While not my favorite, some parents like the relative ease of the tympanic thermometer. This thermometer is placed in the ear. A few important points, 1. It can't be used in children under 6 months. 2. Placement in the canal matters. Read the directions and follow them. 3. Excess earwax can cause an incorrect reading. Number 4. Forehead thermometers, temporal. This is the preferred method for most kids three months and over, particularly for screening when you can't or prefer not to do a rectal temperature. That's why you'll find most doctor's offices using them at check-in. Once again, the placement and the way you move it matters so follow the directions included. If you are getting a reading that doesn't make sense, check it a few more times until you are getting consistent readings. Number 5. Digital Thermometers A nice digital thermometer is good to have because it can be used throughout age ranges, provides accurate readings, and it's cheap. At any age, you can use a digital thermometer under the arm and add one degree to get a general sense of what the true temperature might be, just don't count on that as 100% reliable. Number 6. Non-Contact Infrared Thermometers with the recent events related to COVID-19, I've gotten a lot of questions about these thermometers. They are an option for you because they are accurate, can be used for screening at your home or office, and they don't require touch. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.